Welcome back to another cyber security video. In this video, we are going to see how to use the tool VLAN to generate payload and get the remote cell access of Windows machine. To install the tool VLAN, first of all go to your browser, search for VLAN GitHub, click on the first link. The link is also available in the description. As you can see, it is using hoax cell to generate reverse cells. Here it gives all the steps to install this tool. So we will follow it and install the tool. First of all, we need to copy this git clone command to clone this repository. Open your terminal and paste the link. it will clone the repository then we need to go inside the folder VLAN and install all the requirements here is the requirements the txt file we need to install all the requirements so run command pip install hyphen r requirements txt I already installed it so it is showing me requirement already satisfied but it will take a time to install all the requirements after that we need to install genome terminal because it is if the tool villain is using this terminal copy it and paste it on the terminal and install So we successfully installed the genome terminal. Now we need to run the vlan.py file in order to launch the tool. Run command python3 vlan.py and it will start the tool. First of all, it will check take a time to checking for updates if any updates are available for this tool. After that, it will start the tool. The tool is successfully started and the hook cell will be running on the port 8080 on our local network. So first of all, if you're starting the tool for the first time and don't know what commands are available, hit the command help. It will show you a list of commands that are available and a small description about them. Here we will use the generate command to generate payload. To know about in more detail, We'll run command help and the command name in our case generate it will show you a long description about the command here are some example we need how we can use this command generate then payload equals to the payload we want to use this template then the local host we can set the our local ip address or interface and at the last encode We'll use encode command to encode our payload so it will be not detected by the antivirus program. So maybe you are wondering from where the temp payload templates are coming. So let me show you. Inside the villain folder, there is a folder named core. Inside that folder, a folder available payload templates, which contains two folders for Windows and Linux. It contains payload for Windows and Linux. We'll go for Windows. There are two folders available inside the windows. One is hoaxel, another is netcat. I'm gonna do netcat for this example. There are three templates available. We'll use the first one, powershell reverse tcp. You can try this another two. I hope you understand from where the payload templates are coming. You can also use it for Linux. Let's get back to our terminal. Now generate our payload for windows run the command generate payload will generate command payload for windows netcat powershell reverse tcp in the place of l host you can give your interface name or ip address if you don't know your ip address Open the terminal, run the command 
if config it will show your ip address also all the interface in my case i am going to use this my eth0 interface and last run the command encode it will encode our payload so that it will be undetected by the antivirus program now it successfully generate the payload copy it now open your windows command from paste the copied payload and hit enter let's go back to the linux machine as you can see a backdoor session is established successfully to view the sessions run command sessions it will show the created sessions now if you want to use any of them then run the command it will be cell then the session id now hit enter now we can access the cell of the windows machine remotely now we can run the windows command from our linux machine for example i want to see from in which directory currently i am i can use the command pwd to see in my current location it is in c drive inside users inside lenovo folder i can check which directory and files are present here now successfully get the remote cell access of the windows machine we can share the cell access with the other kali machines which are present in the same network as our machine let's see how can we do that so this is my second kali linux virtual machine running on the same network in which the windows and the first kali linux machine running here i installed vlan to get the cell access of the windows machine in this we can reuse the command connect how to use the command for that run command help connect it will give a brief description how we can use that command first write connect then the ip address of the first kali linux machine or the device to which we want to connect then the team server port the team server port is written above 6501 to get the ip address let's go to the first kali linux machine so to check the ip address of my first kali linux machine we can run the command ifconfig it will show its ip address here it is 192.168.48.138 let's get back to the second kali linux machine and use this ip address to connect with this machine let's connect with our first kali linux virtual machine run command connect then the ip address of the first kali linux machine which is 192.168.48.138 then the team server port which is written here 6501 6501 it will send a request connection request to the first machine you can simply access the request in this first machine by simply typing this code that is showing here it will expire in 10 seconds so now i successfully accepted the request now all the sessions of the first kali linux machine is shared with this machine let's check it out the all the sessions as you can see we get the windows session let's try a command to access the cell of the windows cell then the session id now you get access to the windows cell let's try the command pwd to check in which path we are 